hey guys welcome to today's video if you are new here hi my name is ej and if you're not new welcome back so today i'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 vanilla fragrances that i love right now as some of you guys know i am a huge frag head i absolutely love perfumes scents candles stuff like that and i'll be sharing more and more about them on this channel so today I'm going to talk about my favorite gourmand scents. The thing is that when it comes to gourmand scents, I typically gravitate towards vanilla scents. So today's video is going to be about my favorite vanilla fragrances. So if you like to see all of that, then keep on watching. But before we jump in, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from me and from me on Instagram where I share similar content. I'm also simply EJ on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to be telling you about these perfumes, why I like them, what kind of vanilla they are, the projection, the sealage, where I'll wear them to, things like that. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. The first perfume I have here is Ornament Pour Femme by Afnan and this was under $40 and it's such an amazing find. Mm, it's an incredibly unique fragrance in my opinion. You've got some vanilla, you've got some coconut. I'm also getting some fruitiness in there. It's like a really fantastic tropical scent. It makes me feel like I need to be on an island somewhere sipping cocktails out of a coconut. <laughs> but it smells really great and it's under $14. And I feel like it has a really decent projection and it also has really decent longevity. I could still smell this on myself four hours later and I don't mind um, reapplying at this price point. I mean, this is, it's just really fantastic. It smells amazing. For me, this is definitely a summertime perfume. I definitely see myself wearing this during the summer just to go hang out with friends, go to brunch, stuff like that. And I could also potentially see this being a date night kind of perfume because I feel like gourmands are just really really sexy and honestly it's hard to go wrong with a gourmand for date nights mm. but yeah this smells amazing by the way i might not always say the prices of everything in the video but i'll always leave prices right down below in the description box so you guys can check it out i'm going to leave the links to everything right down below so the next perfume i have here is kayali vanilla 28 and for me this is just a true vanilla so this is a really great vanilla and it doesn't have a lot of other conflicting notes it's not a fruity vanilla it's not a coconutty vanilla it's not a spicy vanilla i'll say this is a true vanilla to be honest i know they've got some other notes in here like amber but it's just giving me straight up vanilla and i love this because i like having a vanilla scent that is just a basic vanilla that i can use to layer my other perfumes so, so i really like this one from kayali i picked up the tiny size it's so cute but i really love that they do smaller sizes so you can like test it out before you commit or you can take this with you and reapply it throughout the day if you want to so this is another vanilla that i really really love um oh as far as longevity goes i feel like longevity is all right it's not like the most long lasting perfume i've ever tried but again i get four to six hours with this one which is fine with me i only have a tiny sample of this one so i'm going to go ahead and leave a picture of it on the screen but this is forbidding games by killian and woo let me tell you this is like the sexiest perfume i've ever smelled i know that when it comes to killian people are kind of crazy about love don't be shy but for me i feel like they do a lot of fragrances that are better than that and one of their perfumes i love is this forbidden games um i want to buy a full size bottle of this it's definitely on my wish list it's probably going to be my last perfume i pick up this summer but it's just really fantastic for me this is definitely a big date night kind of perfume it just smells really really sexy and it's got some honey in there it's got some vanilla it's got some honey it's just a really interesting perfume that is not like anything else in my collection which is saying a lot and it's just really sexy and i'm always looking out for a good date night fragrance let's talk about one of my favorite vanillas ever this is floral street wild vanilla orchid so this is the floral street wild vanilla orchid and i'm i'm done with this bottle and i have another bottle ready to go that's how much i love it this is a very unusual vanilla it's not super sweet it's got some amber to it it's got some woody notes to it it's got a little bit of spice a little bit of a kick to it 
they describe it as vanilla but not like you've ever seen it before and honestly i have to agree it's an incredibly unique vanilla it's very long lasting it's got amazing projection like when i wear this and i step into a car people are like oh what are you wearing you smell so nice you smell so good i'm like yes thank you <laughs> but i've lost count of how many of these bottles i've repurchased Every time I run out, I buy it again and I've been using it since, I want to say 2019, 2018, I think 2019, yeah. So anyway, really amazing perfume and it's also under $80, which is one thing I love about Floral Street. They believe in high quality perfumes without a hefty price tag and I mean, they really deliver on that promise. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, so my current favorite perfume at the moment that I wear almost all the time, even when I'm wearing something else, I always layer it with this, and this is Mancera Wild Cherry. This is a vanilla and cherry scent, and it just smells intoxicating. I wear this all the time. I wear this to, well, not to work, because it's very, very loud and very, very sexy, but I wear it everywhere else that is not work. It is, amazing mansara makes such great perfumes like literally all you need is a spritz and you're good to go for the day so don't go crazy and do like six sprays of this because this will be overwhelming so i tried tom ford's lost cherry and i like this one better so let's just leave it at that so you can imagine you know how amazing this is if i like it better than tom ford's lost cherry but did i mention it is a fruity floral vanilla it's a fruity floral vanilla. Another perfume here that I love is um, House of Sillage Haute Bijou. I hope I'm saying the name right. This is called Haute Bijou and it's from House of Sillage and it's an amazing sexy tropical vanilla. This is another perfume that makes me feel like I need to be on an island somewhere sipping piña coladas and just living my best life um it smells tropical it smells fruity it smells sweet it's got decent lasting power i wore it a lot last weekend and i put it on at around say 8 a.m and like 7 p.m when i came back could still smell traces of it so i'll say the lasting power is really great the projection is all right which i like you have to like stand close to me to smell it which is fine it's not every time that you want your perfume to like overpower the room <laughs> when you walk in but this is just really great really beautiful sexy fragrance for the spring and summer i have two perfumes here from mason tahite the first is van ecstasy which is like a beautiful sweet like sickeningly sweet but in a good way vanilla this has caramel it's giving me like sugary caramelly just vanilla goodness i love it and then the other one is interesting this is a floral vanilla musky scent and oh, there's something about it that just drives me crazy which is saying something <laughs> but i don't know if it's the musk but something about this perfume is just doing it for me i love it so much it's just giving me sexiness and spring in a bottle love it oh by the way both of these are vanilla perfumes of course i don't know whether i described the notes but this is a floral no it's not really a fruity vanilla this is a floral musky vanilla and this is a sweet sugary caramelly vanilla another gourmand scent i love is the grand soir perfume from mfk this one is more of an amber scent but it does have vanilline in it which is like the basic component of the vanilla scent Woo! Lord. <laughs> sorry i got carried away this smells sexy confident decadent rich it just I love a good amber scent and this is definitely right up there in my top two amber fragrances of all time. MFK always comes through. I also like their Gentle Fluidity Gold. I have a sample of it and it's also a really great vanilla scent if you're looking for a vanilla scent. Next on my list is the YSL Libre Intense. Okay, so when Libre first came out, it was alright. I felt like it needed a little bit more sweetness and they really went and did that with this one so this one has more vanilla and it just smells richer more sexy more grown up but it still has that signature orange blossom notes of the ysl libre if you like libre 
and you like vanilla scents, you're going to love this. It reminds me a little bit of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, and I'm actually going to go ahead and compare those two in an upcoming video when I have a little bit more time. The last perfume I have here is Orchidee Vani by Van Cleef, and this is a very quiet vanilla. It's like a very grown-up vanilla. It's a vanilla I could wear to work because it doesn't have a super loud projection. It's a skin scent. I like it. I don't wear it a lot just because I have like a ton of other vanillas but if you're looking for something that isn't super loud because I know some people um, get headaches with like perfumes that are super out there. It's a perfume I would gift to my mom so i hope that gives you like general vibe of this but it's a great perfume if you want something quiet or something more classy i feel like i'm doing a sucky job of describing this but um it's a very grown-up quiet vanilla work appropriate or for older people or if you're just looking for something laid back and low-key i really like this one for occasions like that all right you guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this video let me know what your favorite vanilla scents are or if you have any other questions and comments please let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys